Sure. My name is Milad Ryan Sefapur. I'm a 3L at Big George in their day program. So uh, a bit of context. Before I ever thought about law school in the slightest, I was working in a tech startup in Vancouver called Bench. And I had a great time with it. It was a huge learning experience, and it kind of helped fill the vacuum of, I finished undergrad. What do I want to do now that I'm done? And getting to work in such a fast-moving pace, especially with accounting and technology, was really exciting. But I also quickly realized that um, the startup had grown so much that it was starting to resemble a more traditional corporate structure. And a lot of my coworkers were pursuing additional education to either branch out within the company or outside the company. I had a friend of mine, uh, a mentor, who was a securities lawyer between New York and Canada. And he said, you know, you have a bit of the personality for it. You like to argue. Why not think about a lottery? And I took some advice from my dad and decided to just shadow him for a week. What does he do? Like, and I liked everything he did. The client to client interaction, the freedom he had as a solo practitioner. He was really able to set the terms of his life and how far he wanted to take his ambition. And I love that. Like the lifestyle and also um, the benefit you give to your clients so directly. Whereas in accounting, you're working for a bigger corporation, there's not as much face and face time interaction. So I chose a JD. So when I was picking for law school, there was a few factors at hand. It's what is the strength of the, strength of the programs? What is the value add to the city? Like what's in the city, both in terms of job opportunities, or if I'm thinking about any courts, what courts are in the city? And finally, the cost of the thing. Law school is exceptionally expensive, some cities more than others, and trying to weigh how generous the school is um, alongside do I have family in the city that can help me out was really important to me. And I think McGeorge was the most balanced and, I mean, at least on the financial side, the most savvy decision by far. Um, it has access to all the federal courts and it's right in their backyard, which is fantastic because during the school year, you're not having to deal with, you know, your students from Southern California trying to poach your externship spots. They don't want to move all the way to Sacramento to try and take a prestigious position that you just need to drive 10 minutes to do. In terms of the costs, um, I grew up in this area, so it was very logistically sound. I had my grandparents, I had my parents who were more than willing to support me in this endeavor, and they were very generous with their scholarship conditions. Um, the scholarships are incredibly generous, but also competitive because it's based on um, how well you perform. And I was hungry, so I kept it. <laughs> so after I graduate, I will be going to New York to do an LLM at NYU in taxation. Uh, just for a bit of context, um, tax law is one, of, is one of, if not the only field where you need an LLM in order to meaningfully practice. The reason being is that you cannot take enough tax law courses to decipher the complicated mess that is the IRC in your JD without skipping core courses that you need for the bar. The only exception to that being is if you go into law school with a CPA, which is a very small fraction. So with that said, I was looking into it and NYU was the best program and I was able to do some connections at the school, make some contacts and I'll be going there and maybe staying, we'll see. I'll be probably going into practice after that uh, a long-term plan would be to go back to Canada and be able to either challenge their bar or if I have to do an LM there as well. But we'll see. They're, both those options are appealing. It might be, you know, five, ten years from now. Uh, yeah, so I'm the vice president. Um, what that means is I handle a lot of the student committees on campus alongside the evening uh, pre vice president which set up activities on campus, such as our wellness committee, setting up yoga days, we bring therapy dogs. Um, we also have the barristers committee, which throws, well, barristers, which is law school prom. Um, this year, we did at the Sawyer. If anyone's interested in going to George, please look up the Sawyer. It's a beautiful venue. And um, yeah, we just kind of make campus here a bit more fun. Though it could be a bit hectic because it is handling anywhere from two to five different groups of people with their own little hierarchies at once. So, so Mesa, 
a Middle Eastern and South Asian Student Association. Um, I am their treasurer. They are an incredibly active member on this, on this campus. Uh, there is a thriving, uh, thriving sets of communities from the Afghan community to the Punjabi community to the Indian community that all have representation, not only on this campus, but in this city. And uh, my job with them is just to be treasurer. Um, I have enough responsibilities as is between law review, SBA, school, you name it. And a lot of them represent not just my classmates but my friends. And I really love what they bring just in general uh, in terms of the culture, the food, what they want to do to just make this place a bit more fun. And I just enable. Like, if they want money, I will go get them that money.